The world of science fiction and fantasy is filled with tales of people returning from the grave. But in this classic look into the last wishes of Dr. Timothy Leary, we may see the dead come alive as Paranormal TV takes a chilling look at cryonic suspension. Whether a viable solution or a desperate hope, cryonics offers a possible reprieve from death. But what exactly is cryonics? Cryonics means taking people who have been labeled as dead by today's medical criteria and placing them in a circumstance where they won't change very further in liquid nitrogen at 320 below zero, holding them there until they can be looked at by doctors of the future who might, using different criteria, decide they're alive and repairable. The whole point of cryonics is not love of being frozen, it's love of staying alive. People from all walks of life have expressed an interest in cryonics. Among the most famous is the 1960s activist, Dr. Timothy Leary. Leary first came to prominence in the 1960s as a professor at Harvard who advocated the use of hallucinogenic drugs as a means to self-enlightenment. He was also involved in civil rights and the peace movement. Timothy, why at this point in your life are you considering cryonics? Why are we sitting here talking today? Because I found out in January that I had a uh, cancer which was spreading through my body. So my days and nights and weeks and years are numbered. Cryonic is the only one right now. It's very primitive. It's extremely uh, uh, experimental. I, have, I don't think I will be right back, but I'm going to do everything in my power using the science that's available to uh, study this issue so that in the future, maybe my grandchildren will have this option. There are at least two options that Alcor offers. One is whole body suspension, where the entire body is frozen. That's a minimum of $120,000, most of which is actually invested so that the patient can be cared for for an indefinite period of time. We also have another option called neurosuspension, where only the person's head is frozen, a very occasion of the person's brain. And the reasoning behind this is who we are is in our brain. I don't want to be in a position where my grandchildren are not having money to go to school because they get granddad is up there with the whole body being pickled. I mean, that's not dignified. So uh, I, I think I'll probably go in the brain. I'm not afraid of dying. In fact, I'm looking forward because there's a process. When your heart stops and your brain stops, there's a period of two to 15 minutes. This is the unknown territory. What happens when your brain is up there with 120 billion neurons slapping around without the bothering of the body and all that? Uh, the Buddhists and the Hindus have said for centuries the dying process is something that should be uh, studied and to decide how and when. We do know already that we can freeze sperm and corneas and heart valves and skin and many other human organs, including frozen embryos, fertilized embryos for in vitro fertilization. And these work just fine at that temperature. So at least there's a proof of principle there. We don't know yet how memories are formed in the brain. So we cannot go in and freeze a brain, thaw it and examine it and see if the memories are still there. Even in, a, in very elementary animals, we can't do that. That should be solved in the next 10 years, though. Scientists are getting very close to understanding that. And then we can really begin to make progress because we can, we can know where the identity of that person is. That is the billion dollar question. You see, no one's ever talked about it before, preserving your memories. Uh, I have over a thousand cardboard cartons which have every piece of paper that has any personal reference to me. There are about 10 people now working on my archives. These are my memories. And uh, uh, once they get on the computer, you see, then you can order them and you can punch up what happened uh, in July 4th. Uh, I, when I come back, uh, it's going to be fascinating. They're going to have to, it's a very delicate, you can imagine. They'll put me out of the frosty freeze and they'll thaw me out. And I'll probably be looking at the three doctors with clipboards, right? I hope not, but uh, 
I've got it so set up that my memories will be there and I can retrace my life. It's gonna be on a computer. So do you think you'll retain your same personality? Uh, my personality is uh, I am an adventurous philosopher. I'm a dissonant philosopher. Uh, it's an ancient, ancient tradition. Socrates all the way up. I hope that I will maintain the attitude of curiosity and a trust and belief in human nature. And uh, above all, humanism, to empower the individual, to do it with yourself with your friends. I, I hope I keep that. And I'll have instruction. If I, do, if I come back a Republican, <laughs> turn me back off, okay? <laughs> <laughs>